All right, guys. So today we're going to check out the Skull Candy Sesh A and C. Now, I have not talked about a pair of Skull Candy earbuds in quite a while. And the reason for that is one, they do put out a lot of earbuds, but two, Skull Candy when it comes to earbuds just really hasn't impressed me. I don't know what it is. It's usually like the battery life, uh, the sound, something just seems off with every single pair. And in fact, I didn't even know that the Sesh A and C came out actually about eight months ago. So the fact that it just kind of flew under the radar really goes to show how much I'm keeping up with Skull Candy earbuds. But it did grab my attention. It's Skull Candy having noise canceling on one of their original earbuds. So I wanted to see what all they changed. Now the first thing is the earbuds and the case themselves really do just have this plastic feel to it. Uh, it does not feel premium, it kind of feels a little cheap. Now the only place it's not plastic is where the physical buttons are located on the outside of the earbuds. Uh, it does have a little bit of a textured grip here. Now I do like that they've stuck to using a button instead of touch controls. Uh, and I am happy to say that they actually give you control over everything. So you don't have to sacrifice not having volume control or noise canceling control or anything like that. You get everything right out of the box. And speaking of out of the box, what they've actually included is you get three sets of silicone ear tips. Uh, you get one of the smallest USB-C cables that I've seen. I mean, there's really the only way you can plug this in is just like right by the charger uh, and not even a wall charger because it would just hang and destroy the charging port. But speaking of the charging, this case does not have Qi wireless charging, which really in this price range, that's something a lot of people have come to expect. But another thing that you see when you open up the box is there's this little card that's the first thing telling you to do is download their app. And I will say this, Skull Candy has one of the best looking apps. It is very polished looking. It kind of fits their brand. And I've actually found that it was really nice to use. And in the app, you can keep your earbuds updated. It also works with the tile locator so you can locate your earbuds uh, the last place that you use them, which is always nice. There are some pre-built EQ settings, only like three, but you can go in and customize the EQ settings the way that you want. And also within the app, you can switch it into a gaming mode so if you're going to use these for gaming or watching movies and you don't want to have to worry about lag uh, it's nice that you can switch it into this mode but this mode is going to eat up your battery life and it's also going to affect how far you can get from your device so do keep that in mind if you're going to have these in gaming mode now, technology-wise, this pair is using Bluetooth 5.2. Uh, it only has AAC and SBC playback, so there's no high-end Bluetooth codecs, which, again, in this price range, uh, a lot of people are going to expect, you know, app decks and things like that, especially when we have pairs from SoundPeats getting into LDAC in this similar price range. Now moving over to talking about the active noise canceling and the transparency mode, I was pretty surprised at how good the noise canceling is. Now it's not anything that's going to blow anybody away, but it's doing a decent job of blocking out lower tones like engine noises, AC units, uh, anything like that. But if somebody's around you and they're talking, uh, you're going to hear it about the same as you would if you just had a normal pair of earbuds in. But the transparency mode, I feel, does a very good job on this pair. It really did feel somewhat natural. I mean, you do hear some digital noise from the mics picking up uh, some of the things around you, just like a white noise. But for the most part, you can easily carry on a conversation without actually having to take your earbuds out. Now, as far as using these like outdoors or at the beach or maybe at work outside, this pair comes in with an IP55 rating. So it means it has, you know, a slight amount of water protection, but it also has protection against dust as well. So again, if you're going to use this on a construction site, dust isn't going to bother these. If you're at the beach, they fall into the sand. None of that's going to affect these either. So it's nice to have that added protection. Uh, and again, if it rains or if you're somebody that sweats heavily, you'll be fine. But this is not one of those that you could submerge into water. Now, moving over to talking about the battery life on these, I want to go back and talk about the battery life on the original Sesh, because that was actually kind of laughable. On the original Sesh, you could get three hours on the earbuds and about 10 hours total using the case. I mean, I think that's some of the worst battery life I've seen on any earbuds. Uh, so it is nice that they've definitely improved upon that uh, because the Sesh A and C, if you use with the noise canceling off, you can get about nine hours on the earbuds and about 46 hours 
using the case. And even with using these with the noise canceling on, you can still get six hours on the earbuds and 32 hours using the case. So battery life with the noise canceling on or off is much better than it was on the original sesh. Now, if you do happen to pick these up and the battery is dead, uh, it does have a fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge will get you about an hour and a half worth of use. Now this is actually lower than on the original sesh or the sesh Evo, uh, because on the original ones you could get two hours on that same 10 minute charge. So, you know, maybe they did that just to prolong the battery life on the earbuds. So do keep that in mind. Now, if you are looking to use these for taking phone calls, uh, I do think the mics are also improved over the original sesh. I still think it's just decent. It's not one of the best mics that I've heard on a pair of earbuds, but it is also doing a pretty decent job of blocking out my surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is the mic test using the Skull Candy Sesh ANC. And Really, I think it does a good job of picking up my voice. Now, I do notice it sounds a little bright with the S's, uh, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test for the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because this is where I feel like Skull Candy took the biggest leap forward over the original sesh. Hell, even over any of the earbuds they've released to this point, this is the most refined earbud that I've heard from Skull Candy. It's not a bass heavy, muddy mess like some of the other ones. In fact, there's actually a lot of focus on the treble to the point that it even has that sibilant sounds with cymbals and some of the S's and stuff like that. So it is a pretty bright treble overall. And the mids are like bumped slightly forward so that if I switch from hip hop to pop to metal or whatever, uh, I could hear guitar riffs cleanly and vocalists always sounded like they were just slightly forward, which is a nice change from what Skull Candy has done in their previous earbuds. Now, when it comes to the bass, and I think this is where it's going to affect their clientele that's used to buying their earbuds. This isn't a bass heavy earbud. Now it does have a decent amount of bass, but it's not like that subwoofer or loose bass. It's much more tightened up uh, than their other products. And I think really overall, it just made it a lot more pleasing to use these. And, and maybe that's just because I listen to a lot of different genres uh, and some bass heavy earbuds just tend to destroy something that's not a bass heavy genre. Uh, so again, it was a nice change of pace using these and just switching between different genres of music. Now, when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, although this pair is better than the other Skull Candy earbuds that I've tested, it's still not mind blowing when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging. I mean, it sounds fairly open. Uh, it kind of borders along that medium to large size room, but being able to tell where sounds were coming from, I had no issues with this pair. So to wrap this up, and I'm going to add this into my reviews going forward, I want to kind of rate how these sound with different genres and then just kind of give a number rating overall. So I would say if you're somebody that listens to more bass driven music like hip hop, pop and EDM and dance and stuff like that, I would give these a six when it comes to those genres. Now when it comes to rock and metal, uh, because the mids are slightly forward, it pulls out guitar riffs much better than their other earbuds. The sibilant sound can be a little much depending on how the cymbals are recorded, but with rock and metal, I would give these a seven. And moving over to classical and easy listening and and genres that are a little more vocal driven. I would also give these a seven here just because the clarity uh, is nice and clean. It again can be bright and if that's not your taste, you're not gonna like these. Uh, so my overall rating on these, I would give a six and a half out of 10. And really the reason for that is if you're a bass head, these aren't going to check that box. And if you're somebody that likes a neutral or flat sound, this isn't going to check that box either, but I don't really know how many people look at Skull Candy earbuds for that type of sound anyway. But if you do like details and you like to hear a lot of subtle things and you like a nice bright sound, 
I actually enjoyed these for this. And and again, I think that's why, you know, even at a six and a half, I think that is much higher than I would give any other Skull Candy earbud that I've tested. I feel as though Skull Candy is on the right path. I think refining their sound is definitely something they needed to do. Uh, the app is great. It fits their brand. It's easy to use. Uh, it's nice and colorful. It doesn't have that, you know, simple white background with just black text and it doesn't look plain. As long as you don't need Qi wireless charging, which, you know, I, again, I'm one of those that's gotten used to that and you don't need strong noise canceling, I think based off the sound alone, there's a lot of value in this pair. So it really just kind of comes down to what you're looking for. This price range is very close to some really excellent earbuds. So the competition is just making it hard uh, for other earbuds and for companies like this. But guys, that wraps up my video on the Skull Candy Sesh ANC. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.